Yo, what up? Today, we're reacting to uh, Mark Dice, all right? If you don't know who Mark Dice is, you're missing out, kid. And um, this guy's great. You know, the other day, you know, we did a couple donut videos. And, uh, you know, I want this channel to be rooted in truth. You know what I mean? It, it, truth and art. Shout out to my boy Bernie uh, doing, doing, you know. We're going to shout out a lot of truth channels on this channel, you know, because we have to. That's our duty, man. So, here we go, man. Here we go. What else to say? You know, we're not going to do all this fluff here, this fluff intros and make it. Come on, man. Let's go. You know what it is. We're doing truth. It's big pop a pill. You take the red pill. You wake up. We're going to react to people. That are um, honorable people, people, people I kind of look up to, man. Like these people doing great work. They they help wake me up, and um, you know, that's that. So we're gonna listen to Mark Dice, and I I, I highly advise that you check out his channel, man. He's funny, and he, he kind of makes the news um, like like edible, man. You can you can you can take because he puts a little comedy in there, even though it's dead serious. Everything he's saying. Um, you know, but, but he, it makes it just, just, you know, puts a little, like, like lightens things up a little bit where you can have a little laugh with it too. All right. So here we go, man. Let's get in this Mark Dice. I'm already talking too much. Since the Hollywood elite hate God and everything that is normal and good, it would only make sense that they have embraced Satan as their symbolic or literal master. The Church of Satan is an organization started by Anton LaVey in the 1960s, which gained popularity amongst a few celebrities at the time, like Sammy Davis Jr. and James Mansfield. The church was really just Anton LaVey's house, but he was a showman, so in the late 1960s and early 70s, he was able to get some media attention for openly embracing Satanism and engaging in various oh, theatrical no. rituals and stunts, like serving an amputated leg at dinner that <laughs> one of his members stole from a hospital that he worked at. Well, the group's 15 Sick. minutes of fame Sick. soon faded away. Satanism in Hollywood didn't. Uh, Rock stars and heavy metal bands in the 1980s and 90s continued to promote Satanism through their music. Mm. Marilyn Manson, the self-described Antichrist superstar, would often tear out pages from a Bible on stage as part of his shows. Of course, he would never do that to the Quran because radical <laughs> Muslims would put out a fatwa calling for him to be executed. Not to oh. mention he would be denounced as Islamophobic, but attacking Christians gets one hailed as a uh, hero in Hollywood. In the early- I'm, I'm a Manson fan. Too, I, I, you know, I'm a fan of his uh, the Antichrist Superstar album. My boy Beezy, man, put me onto that. Good music, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, as far as image, like I, I get, I get it. But um, you know, tearing out pages of Bible and stuff might have been, might have been too far, you know. But I do dig uh, that album, to be honest. Not saying what you know. I don't know, man. He was definitely, I think he, he, got, he got in a little too deep, man. Manson. And all these people. You know, I make dark music too. Um, but I, I, I also was never um, accepted in these circles where they, they put me on the highest platform. That's a whole different thing. So maybe these people really are Satanists and they're not just making dark music because, you know because of aggression or that's why I do it. You know, it's just like whatever comes out, the filthy mess, whatever it is, what it is. Like it's dark. Um, but these people may, may actually be, you know, Satanists. So let's keep going, man. Mark Dice. 2010s, we began to see an explosion of pop stars promoting a new brand of Satanism in the form mm -hmm. of the Illuminati. The original Illuminati was a secret society founded in Bavaria, Germany in the late 1700s by a law professor at Ingolstadt University named Adam Weishaupt. While the founding fathers in America openly declared their views and goals to gain independence from the King of England, the Illuminati sought secrecy and subversion to escape the grasp of the monarch in Germany. After many of their members were discovered, rounded up, and arrested, it was said that the secret society was no more, but rumors have persisted for over 200 years that they 
they survived and continued on. The group's original plans, many of which had been discovered by seizing their letters of correspondence, detailed how the organization was structured to avoid collapsing if any of its cells were discovered. Some traced their symbols, slogans, and activities to the Skull and Bones Secret Society, founded in 1832, and later to Bohemian Grove and to the Bilderberg Group, where many believe the Illuminati right. continue to operate today. Many people believe that these Illuminati members are privy to ancient philosophical secrets about the history of mankind and the supposed true nature of divine forces. Concerns and conspiracy theories about the Illuminati were mostly contained to the fringes of the internet until the early 2010s when allegations of celebrity Illuminati involvement went viral through YouTube videos and social media posts. Many them. rappers and pop stars began incorporating Illuminati symbols right. into their music videos and hinting that they were somehow a part of it. None of these musicians were members of Skull and Bones or attending the Bohemian Grove, but by promoting the Illuminati and Satanism as cool, they laid the mm -hmm. foundation for the widespread acceptance of Satanism, or Luciferianism as it's called. Those who follow this secret doctrine believe that the God who created the world and all living things was actually a lower level God called the Demiurge, or yeah, Jehovah. Right who essentially enslaved mankind through our very creation, either through malevolence or ignorance of its own lack of abilities. And so Satan, or Lucifer, the supposed supreme being of the universe in this point of view, decided to enter the Demiurge's creation to, quote, save mankind by convincing Adam oh, and Eve God. to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, giving them consciousness. Such esoteric ideas had remained mostly hidden from public view for thousands of years, but now a large number of Hollywood celebrities started <laughs> openly embracing the idea that Satan is supposedly good and giving a wink and a nod that they too follow the Illuminati doctrine. While the Illuminati fad in pop culture has passed, the open embrace mm -hmm. of this idea that Satan is supposedly the savior will no doubt return someday and catch on like wildfire among the high priests of pop culture. A-list celebrities will declare that Satan is king and yeah. countless people will blindly follow their lead as you, they you catch my drift here though um said that dude just spit that yo he just he's just rapid fire killing it just spitting truth uh nuggets and this is like he's more uh political usually um so a any anybody who hasn't heard of him i i highly advise his channel man um, you know, let's, let's, let's finish this out though. You know, I'm just here trying to, trying to put you on, bro. I want to put everybody on to, to, to some, some of the stuff that leads you down the path, the, the, the way, man, the right path. And, um, these are the guys that, that did it, man. And I'm going to keep showing you different people, um, you know, I'm reacting to their, their work because I feel, you know, someone from, from my platform of, you know, m music and stuff that they don't, they don't say this. They don't, they don't, they're on the opposite side. They disagree with all this for whatever reason. Musicians are, um, you know. They're all compromised and they, they they're they're feeding this agenda. So here we go, here we go. always do. Bible prophecy predicts that one day a counterfeit Christ, the Antichrist, will declare that he is God and ruler of the earth, and such proclamation will be welcomed by billions of people. And thanks to the massive cultural shifts taking place, the path is being paved for the widespread acceptance of the secret doctrine. The supposed freedom that this counterfeit Christ will offer is a rejection of biblical values, traditions, and the open embrace of that sin and degeneracy of all kinds. The liberal media industrial complex Probably a satanic ad right here. Absolutely, some VR. But anyway, man, we don't even have to really finish the video out. We just, just want to put you on the Mark Dice. You gotta have Mark Dice. Um, you gotta have truth. You gotta believe in God. And that's that, man. And I'm Big Pop Pill. Take your red pills. Be sure to check out my music, man. I make crazy, wacky music. Um, but the major difference is 
Um, I tell you up front, don't, um, don't take it a, 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 and and use it to infect you to behave any type of way, or or think that anything being said in it is cool or anything like that. And I make that very known, you know. But it's still it's still crazy, like you know what I'm saying it's, it's not sugar coated, um, cookie cutter clean music. It's still crazy, so you know. But I still believe that these artists in in the in the in the main sphere of the mainstream are, are absolutely in on some sort of agenda here to brainwash. You know, does it make the the music itself good or bad? Uh, you could take it or leave it depending on how you use it. But it's been packaged. And weaponized, you know, so we got to put that out there and the, uh, you know, check out Mark Dice, man. He's got, he's got dope books. He's got crazy page, man. He goes out and does interviews with people on the streets. Those are pretty funny and you see how ridiculous people and brainwashed people are, but check that out, man. Big Papa Pill. This, this is your red pill for the day. Go check out Mark Dice's content because he could probably say it better than I could say it. And that's why I'm showing you these guys, cause you know they've already uh, they've already nailed it, man. They nailed this information. So instead of me trying to teach it, I'm just gonna lead you to it. You know what I mean? All right. So red pill, that's what we took. You know, one a day, kids. All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. Uh, BigPopPill.com. You know, that's enough. That's enough. I'm out of here. <laughs>